So now we can talk about calculating kinetic and static friction. So um, your kinetic friction is just going to be um, equal to what this weird U and um, UK, which is basically your coefficient of kinetic friction and the normal force. Now, something that's really, really, really important. Um, your coefficient of kinetic friction depends on the material, okay, the interaction between the two materials. It does not depend on the mass. It does not depend on anything but the, um, the type of material. Okay, so if you have sandpaper and something very smooth, that's going to have a different coefficient of kinetic friction than, say, two pieces of sandpaper rubbing against each other. This is going to be really, really important when you guys do your friction lab. One of the questions it asks is what does the coefficient of kinetic friction on and people always say mass or whatever, and, and it's always just the material. Okay, it has nothing to do with the mass or anything like that. The mass comes into play over here. Now let's do some calculations with kinetic friction. We have a girl and she's um, exerting a 36 Newton horizontal force. That is our kinetic force. I don't know if you can see the top of this F, so I'll just do it like that. Um, and she's pulling a 52 Newton sled. And so that's the weight of the sled or the force due to gravity. And she's pulling it across a cement sidewalk at a constant speed. Then it says, what is the coefficient of kinetic friction, that's this UK, between the sidewalk and the metal sled runner? So, let's write what we know. We know our kinetic friction force. This is basically our applied force, and it's 36 newtons. We know our force due to gravity. Now, your force due to gravity, remember, is equal to your normal force. And that's 52 newtons. And then we want the coefficient of kinetic friction. And this coefficient does not have units just like the other one, so it's really nice. Now our formula is our kinetic friction is equal to our coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. And we want this coefficient of kinetic friction. You can go ahead, you can put it in the triangle. Okay, your coefficient of kinetic friction is next to the normal force, so they go on the bottom together. And then your coefficient of kinetic, or your kinetic friction goes on the top, and I'm just running right F kin. Okay, and the thing that we don't want, the thing that we're trying to look for is this um, coefficient of kinetic friction. So we can do our coefficient of kinetic is equal to our kinetic friction over our normal force. And we can plop in our numbers. Now again, you can see our small number is on the top, so we're going to get a decimal, and that's okay because remember the coefficient of um, frictions, they're always decimals anyway. If you get a number that's bigger than one, then you did something wrong. Um, our, our newtons will go ahead and cross out, and um, that again is okay, and that means we're going to get this number with no units, and you do not have to put units. I will not assume elephants if you do not put units. And you can just leave it at 0 0.69, which I feel like this number looks a little naked, but that's the way it's supposed to be, so we'll leave it that way.